Clark here with the 2017 AP Computer Science A FRQ question 1A. So this question involves identifying and processing the digits of a non-negative integer. So non-negative, there are two classes of non-negative integers, a zero and a positive number. So those are the two classes that I have to keep in mind for non-negative. The declaration of the digits class is shown below. You will write the constructor and one method for the digits class. So we're gonna write the constructor in this video. I'll do the um, next method in the next video. So I have my class digits. I have um, an array list, which is a list of integers called digit lists. So I'll use that for my methods. And what I'm gonna do for this video is the constructor digits. And the precondition again is non-negative. So it's greater than or equal to zero. So a positive number or a zero. Okay, page four says to write the constructor of digits class. This is part A. The constructor initializes and fills digit list with the digits from the non-negative non -negative integer num. The elements in digit list must be integer objects representing single digits and appear in the same order as the digits in num. Excuse me. Each of the following examples shows the declaration of a digits object and the contents of digit list as initialized by the constructor. So if I create a new digit called D1, uh, I can use the positive number 15704. And what I'll get is in digit list, that array list, I will have the number one integer one, integer five, integer seven, integer zero, integer four. So basically I'm just breaking up each integer, each uh, place, each digit into its own list entry. And the second example is if I create a new digit with just a zero, I just have the zero in that list. Look ahead to five, page five, and that's where I actually write my response. So I'm gonna write it over in my replet, over and on the right. And you can see I already have it set up with the um, met, met, uh, method uh, header and the precondition. So I'll go back to page four because I wanna keep this open as I write it, as I type it out. So first thing I need to do is I need to initialize digit list. So before I fill it, I need to initialize it. So the first line I want to do is say digit list. You're a new array list of types. So I need an arrow bracket and it has to be the integer class, not just int, but integer class. And so that's the initialization of the array list. And if I look back on page three, I just match whatever's right here in front of in digit list. So right there is whatever's right here. And I add the new keyword and the parentheses to create a new array list, initialize it. So now I need to fill it up. I need to fill it up with the digits. And again, like I've said, there's two cases. I'll do the first case when it's, when the parameter num, num is the parameter that the user gives me. If that is zero, oh, what happened? If num equals equals zero. And I like using brackets a lot, so I always write brackets. You don't have to, but I like to do so. And if it's a zero, all I do is I just add to the digit list a zero. And it's Java, so I can use auto boxing. I don't want to create a new integer uh, object. I can if I wanted to, but Java takes care of that. I can pretend integer object is just a primitive. So Java takes care of that. So I took care of the, I took care of the uh, first case if the number is zero. So the other case is if the number is positive. So that's gonna be this else here. So if the number is zero, add the zero. Got it. Else if the number is positive, what I want to do is I want to add each digit. And the easiest way to add a digit is to take the ones digit. Cause I know a ones digit is the remainder when dividing by 10. So what I do is I wanna get the four and put it in the digit list, then get rid of the four. To get rid of the, to get rid of the four, I need to divide by 10. And when I divide an integer by 10, there are no more decimals. So the four goes away. And then I need to get the uh, zero, then I need to get the seven, then I need to get the five, then I need to get the one. So as long as this number is still positive, so I'm gonna use a while loop, so while, as long as the number is greater than zero, 
going to keep doing that pattern. And so I'm going to add that digit. To add that digit, I need to say digit list add. And I don't want to add in any any uh, just add it. I need to add it to the beginning. So if I add the four, I need to add the zero in front of the four. Then I need to add the seven in front of the zero. Then I need to add the five in front of the seven, and then the one in front of everything. So the way to do that is to add it to the front, add it to index zero. And the number I want to add is the tens digit. So again, what I did is I got the ones digit, not the tens digit, the ones digit, num percent 10, that'll give me the ones digit. And I need to add it to the front of the list. So I have, I'm adding each digit. And to get rid of the digit, once I'm done, I want to divide by 10. And then I'll get rid of each subsequent digit. So again, I need to initialize the digit list, make a new array list of the same type, same class type. I need to take care of the zeros by just adding a zero. I need to take care of all the positives. So as long as it's positive, I'm going to add the ones digit to the beginning and then get rid of that ones digit. And that is 2017 APCSA free response 1A.